Okay, so now we're going to look at how to draw a compound wireframe box in exonometric. And what I mean by compound, uh, because I didn't have a better word, was that it is a large box made up of a bunch of smaller box inside of that box. Um, this project uh, I actually uh, got from Professor uh, Hughes. He was nice enough to let me use this for you guys. I thought it was great. It was uh, simple enough that you could understand it. Uh, how to draw uh, complex boxes and complex shapes uh, in AXO, but also um, complex enough uh, for you to be able to take this to uh, your houses after we're done with a couple of these exercises. Um, this is just my, my regulating line matrix that I did based on um, the set of boxes that uh, Professor Hughes put together for his class, and I'm going to clarify that with a set of overlays. This will also be your assignment. I will post uh, individual images of this um, to iLearn for you to use as reference, uh, but I'm going to walk you through it right now. This is in uh, 1 to 100 at 3060. Uh, 1 to 100 means essentially that a centimeter is a meter, so for anybody else, this is just drawn at centimeters as well, but it's 1 to 100 uh, for those of you in my class. All right, uh, it's on an A2 sheet, <clears throat> and it's drawn at 3060. So essentially, this is the set of boxes. I'm going to walk you through each one individually. I can get my paper out of the way here. Um, I'm going to walk you through each individually. You have an outside box uh, that is larger. And as you can see with the numbers, um, that is 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters on that face and on the other face. So it's essentially a 10 by 10 square. And then I've got a 10 centimeter by 20 centimeter rectangle on these two faces. Right? The same on the top and the bottom. So essentially what we're looking at is a 10 by 20 rectilinear uh, volume. Then it has inside of it various elevations, um, five smaller boxes, one, two, th or four smaller boxes, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four. Uh, this is one right here. There's one back here. That's kind of thin, that's two. I've got this kind of uh, rectangular volume here and this one uh, towards the back of the top right side, okay? Let's just look at the overall box first, okay? Simply just like the exonometric drawing that um, we looked at in the last tutorial, it's a really simple wireframe box, 10 by 20, okay? It's not that hard. Obviously this line, is your heaviest line. I've got medium line weights around the perimeters of the three faces that are facing me and then lighter lines back here. Now you're going to run into some line weight issues once you start drawing those lighter boxes inside. You can see an overlay. It works really well to get that translucent or transparent feel. You kind of want to get this same feeling with line weight. So um, I'm doing this with pen. You're obviously going to do this with graphite and so you're going to want to really work that HB and the 2H and the 4H to get these line weights. I'm going to do another tutorial that's hopefully a lot shorter that just shows you how to get a differentiate uh, differentiation of line weights um, in areas like this where you've got a lot of lines intersecting and how to draw things that are behind um, and then have them come back out again and things like that. We'll get into that later. So we're going to look at this this first volume here, first box in a box, okay? If you look at it, it is, again, it's just a cube, all right? And I'm going to show you what it looks like from the top over here. All right, once we overlay that, you can see where it resides, all right? Now, it's, if you look at this diagram here, this shows you what this face looks like from the front. It's essentially an elevation of that face. This box is sort of resting inside of the larger volume, uh, 0.5 off of the bottom, that's a mistake there, that should be just 0.5, okay, 0.5 off of the bottom, and then it is 5.5 tall, so that total package there, the 0.5 space from the bottom and the point, the 5.5 uh, height makes it 6, right, which means that that distance will be 4 from the top, and it's 8 wide, okay, so you can see that here, 5.5, 5.5 tall from those points, I basically come over 
And if we draw some lines in here, all right, I've also made it point 0.5 from that side, and it's the, the depth of that box on the other side, which I believe is 1. Okay, and we'll get to that in a minute. But essentially, that's how that fits in that elevation. It's 4 from the top, point 0.5 from the bottom, point 0.5 from this side here, okay, and you can kind of see it, you can kind of see it there. Alright, if we look at the next box, it's that thinner box. Alright, you can see I didn't fool even mention this. Now you can see that it shares a face with this face back here, and you can see that because it intersects with that line. Now sometimes that means that those share a face, and other times, depending on what you're drawing and the complexity of angles, these might be sharing that line coincidentally, but not in this case. They share that line because they're both on that face. So you've got this volume we just talked about. Now that volume uh, extends a little bit more and meets the other face back there, okay? And that is one centimeter wide, all right? So that one plus the eight for the other volume uh, plus the one from this side over here, and you can see it here. Actually, I'll clarify that in my email. Okay, but this box is 0.5. It's 5.5 high, just like the other box. It's 0.5 off of the floor of the greater box, just like the other one, and it's four from the top. Okay, you can see that over here. It's four centimeters, four meters from the top, 0.5 from the bottom. It's eight wide, 5.5. Right. If I look at it, that's if I'm looking at it. From this view, okay, I'm looking at it from this view, that's what I see. If I'm looking at it from this view, I see that one there, right? So all the dimensions are there. Uh, you really want to make sure that this box is sort of parallel and just an extension of this other volume that we talked about a minute ago, right? And then all of those um, dimensions should work out. So this face, if I'm looking at this side right here, the face of that box comes down and, and does that, okay? And that other volume then is right in here, just extends from it, okay? And goes in that direction. If I'm looking at it from this way, you can see it shares that corner. I would see the corner of my box here, and it would turn that corner there, and then this volume is back behind that there. So that's how that works. <coughs> I'm going to talk about this volume now. Okay, you can see again it's just a simple wireframe box. We're really just relating it to the other boxes inside of this and to the overall volume. Okay. And you see where that floats in there. Now, in here, this thing is back further, so it would be lighter in this, this area right here behind these two volumes. We'll talk about that in another. Uh, tutorial for right now, it's okay just to draw these at light line weights and maybe experiment with your line weights, okay? So this box actually uh, meets the top surface, it actually meets the top surface of that box. So this line comes over and just wraps around and goes up, and then it kind of goes down in, okay? And it, so it's, from this face, we can see it's uh, three wide, and if we're looking at it in this direction, it's six wide, but it extends down into that volume six Right? You can see that, six wide, three wide. So it's because it's at the top and it's six down and the overall height of that volume is, is 10, uh, it's six down and then we've got another four um, from the bottom of this volume to the bottom of the overall volume. Right? So it's six down and then there's another four in here until you get to the bottom edge of that box. All right? I hope that makes sense. It also, because it shares this corner intersection, right, which um, might be coincidental in some other more complex drawings, but right now, because these lines meet and they share that corner, this box is actually resting right up against these two volumes. They share an edge. So the way that might look here, because we know there's six from the other side, that that volume next to it is going to be doing that, where it's 0.5 up off at the bottom, and then it's 5.5 up to six here, and so this is that corner there. Okay. Uh, 
Get this turned around the right way. Okay, and there's that back volume. Again, it's, it's just a simple wireframe box. Um, my line weights with pen make it a little bit hard to see, but if you adjust your eyes a little bit and remember the direction that we're drawing this thing, um, I think you'll be able to see it. Okay, once I overlay it into the other box. Now this one's trickier because it's all the way back and it's inside and so you really have to measure in, you gotta really measure from these corners in, from these corners in, from those corners in to get where this actually is. I'm gonna show you that a little bit here and how that works. But essentially it's a, it's too wide and, <clears throat> or too deep and nine wide and seven tall. You can see here, nine wide, seven tall. Too wide on that face. If I'm looking in that direction, it's too wide, seven tall. I'm looking from that direction, nine wide, seven tall. It is one from the bottom and two from the top. So seven plus one plus two is 10. So that makes up the overall volume, okay? Now it's nine and two, uh, it's nine wide rather, uh, in a 10 centimeter uh, volume. And so that means that essentially the edges of my box are 0.5 away on each side. Okay, so I come in 0.5, come in 0.5, come down two, come up one, and that's where that nine by seven is, okay? That's how that works. All right, so I'm gonna send you a photograph uh, of this set of volumes with uh, measurements for the individual volumes on those pieces of paper that you just looked at. Um, and then I will post those to iLearn uh, with an explanation of what you're meant to do for next week um, and some clarification on any of the errors that I might have made. Thanks.